Lalu bagaimana sebenarnya kepercayaan publik terhadap perusahaan asal negara emerging market atau negara berkembang? Di studio sudah hadir CEO Edelman Indonesia, Mr. Stephen Locke. Hi Stephen, good Hello. to see you. So thanks for coming here to Bloomberg TV Indonesia. So first, I would like to ask you what sort of result did you get? What kind of uh, trust uh, level in terms of uh, looking at the emerging markets? Well, the good thing is that when we interviewed Indonesians, Indonesians trusted Indonesian businesses more than they trusted businesses from other emerging markets. What was interesting is that Indonesians still trusted Western businesses more than Indonesian businesses. On what uh, sort of um, benchmark uh, like, like uh, did you get? Well, broadly speaking, Indonesians, 71% of them trusted Indonesian businesses, mm -hmm. whereas Indonesians trust in emerging market businesses from Russia, China, Brazil, and so forth was about 50%. But trust in, in businesses from Germany, Japan, the USA was more like high 80%. So what type of, uh, what type of companies did you uh, do the research on? Is it on the private and, 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 and government companies or? Separately. First of all, we asked people about companies in general, okay. and then we started asking about particularly well-known uh, companies in each market. Yeah. And uh, it's no doubt that when we looked at reasons why trust was low from companies from China and from <coughs> Russia, for instance, uh, around the world, people were quite nervous about the involvement of those countries' governments in running businesses. So where companies were seen as being very tightly controlled or very close to government, that seemed to cause some nervousness. Okay, that's uh, to in China. How about Indonesia? What, uh, why uh, the result is actually good in terms of trust in Indonesian companies? Well, when we did our research, we kind of drilled down into the details. We got some really useful stuff about the sort of things that investors in this com country need to be careful about. So around the world, the most important thing that drives trust is about openness and transparency. But when we interviewed Indonesians, the most important thing that drives trust in companies for Indonesians is community relations, a sense that companies are really committed to the local community. So our advice to anyone thinking of investing in Indonesia is that really good community relations programs are critical, and Indonesian businesses are already very good at that, but some of these foreign businesses coming in need to get better. So uh, you're saying it's like the CSR actions from yes. the companies in Indonesia? That's right. So around the world, corporate social responsibility is important. It's a nice to have. But if you're investing in Indonesia, if you're doing business in Indonesia, then CSR is absolutely mission critical. But how about transparency? Is it not that important here in Indonesia? It is lower down the table. <laughs> um, so for instance, the second most important criteria worldwide is company ethics. Um, company ethics sits a long way down the league table uh, in, in Indonesia. But other things like environmental sustainability are much further up. So there are some significant differences around the world in what builds trust. And I think it's no surprise that two really important things that build trust in Indonesia are strong relationships with the community, strong relationships with employees, and also environmental sustainability. Did you put it in ranks, like uh, where, where we, we are now, actually? I would say that of the countries we surveyed, Indonesia sits roughly in the middle. It's better rated than many of the other emerging markets, and that's fantastic news, yes. as Indonesia looks to gain more foreign investment. But there's still a big gap between Indonesia and the Western market. So as Indonesian businesses themselves start to want to go abroad, whether it's you know, Mandiri doing banking in Malaysia or, or whatever, when Indonesian businesses go abroad, what our survey says is there needs to be lots of visibility in the local market. Because where there's visibility, familiarity, there tends to be more trust. Let's break down into sectors now. So what uh, sort of sectors did you separate them? Well, um, we know from several years of doing research about Indonesia and around Indonesia, Indonesians have the highest level of trust in the banking industry banking. anywhere we survey in the world. Around the world, trust in banking is pretty poor, but here it's very high indeed. And Indonesians, by and large, are one of the most trusting countries we survey in terms of trust in business. So it's a great place to be a business because Indonesians have very strong trust in business. Okay, um, in terms of CSR, uh, so um, are, are we actually have a great numbers compared to other emerging markets or developed countries? Well, what our survey says is that expectations are very high, mm. and then we ask people to rank what's important, and then we ask people to tell us how well do you think companies are doing it. So we know that CSR is really, really important, but there's quite a big gap between how 
the people we surveyed, how they think in business is doing. So there's about a 30 point gap between uh, what's important, how well people think uh, it's being done. So did you collect any like numbers of solutions or, or actions or upcoming actions that the companies here should do in terms of improving the trust? So when we're advising companies, particularly foreign companies which are coming in to invest in Indonesia, we say don't focus all of your efforts on top-down communications with government. Do make sure you do stuff with uh, organized labor and the local community where you operate is very, very important. And we know from other research we've done in Indonesia that things like education work very, very well with local communities. Public health is quite important globally, but much less so here. That focusing on education is very important and also sustain environmental sustainability. So in terms of uh, those uh, research, um, where is the government sector's rank at? In terms of trust. We do this big annual research that looks at trust in government, and trust in government around the world isn't super. And isn't super. Isn't super. And on average, unfortunately, over the last five years, trust by Indonesians in government is below world average. Um, and when we uh, find out that people say they don't trust government, we ask them, why don't you trust government? And the issues here, are perhaps as you might expect, are all driven by issues about ethics and transparency. And that compared to, like, you know, for example, China or German? Well, it's very interesting that the Chinese have very, very high levels of trust in their government, um, as indeed do the Germans. Um, but if you look at countries around the world which have low levels of trust in their government, we're looking at uh, Russia. Uh, Japan, very interestingly, trust kind of fell off a cliff after the Fukushima disaster and how government was seen to respond to that. But Indonesian levels of trust is about bottom third of the table uh, of the 26 countries we look at around the world. So uh, based on this result, what is actually uh, an interesting number did you get from Indonesia compared to other countries? So trust in business by Indonesians is about 77% of Indonesians, 77. which is high. The global average is in the mid-60s. Um, and for your, from your point of view, trust in the media in Indonesia is the highest in the world. The highest in the world. 84% of Indonesians say they trust the media, which is a lot higher than the global average. All right, Stephen, thanks for coming here in Bloomberg TV Indonesia. Thank you.